Dobrým že vy najsíte. Good day. My name is Sharon Eastman Benjamin, originally from Charlottesville. My restaurant name is Sharon and Phoebe's. I want to welcome you to my kitchen. Today I'm making fish broth and I'm just doing this as a demonstration for the video. So right now I'm going to take, go to my banana tree right here and take a hand of banana to put in the fish broth. Green bananas. So this is the banana. Not much. Yes, my own my I grow my own banana and my own herbs. I have my lime tree here that you know my celery and my chives and my flavor pepper. And I Christophine, I normally put Christophine in the fish broth also. Right, so a lot of these stuff you just see this. Yes, a lot of the stuff I go in my backyard. Yes. I put in pumpkin in it. Pumpkin, carrots, tanya, and English potatoes. Christophine. Christophine is from my grown organic Christophine and organic green bananas. No chemicals. All of these going into the fish broth. Normally we, as, a, as tradition, we, we use the fish head to make the fish broth. So today the fish that we are using, we are using blackfin tuna head and we are using kingfish head in the fish broth with one and two tails in it. So I'm peeling now the potatoes and you see what the, the right name is just Tanya. I prefer to use tanla, Tanya only in my fish broth because of it's just natural. The potato the English potato is more starchy and um, the tanya is less is is more you have more enzymes in the tanya see in the tanya than the the English potato. So is this something you learned from your mom or Yeah, this is something my mom used to do a lot of fish fish broth. She had loved that because my father was a fisherman. And um, I come and get married to a fisherman also. My husband is a fisherman, and I normally do fishing also. Right in Charlotte. In, Char in Charlotte. Yes, Charlottesville is one of the biz biggest fishing depot. There are a lot of fish, lots of boats here. Some of the guys, their trade is only fishing. Right, so what type of fish do you catch Well, normally in Charlottesville, it's a mixture of all different types of fish. We catch blackfin tuna, yellowfin tuna. We catch mallet kingfish. We have we catch black eye kingfish. We catch salmon. That is the trolling part. We catch salmon and we we catch dolphin. But up here in Charlottesville is not so much of dolphin area. On the other end, from Dallaford, go down. They catch a lot of dolphin there. Or the guys, you know, they set their traps and things for to catch a lot of dolphin. But in Charleville, they do a lot of a lot of trolling. Put the lines out, and they do a lot of trolling to catch these type of fish that are already poor, like the kingfish. And then they 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 they, they troll. They they do a lot of banking also. When we say banking, that the boat still, and they do a lot of alivi. Ali V is when you have the live bait, live, like the live, the live, the live baits, and you put them out like the little jacks and the anchovy and so, and you put them out with the, like you're, like you're doing a kite flying. You pour them out, throw them out in the sea with it on the, on the, on the, on the, on the line and the, your catch. And so now I'm, banana, the green bananas. And this banana name 
is toho banana. They call it toho, they call it, um, they have a different name that they call this, but I know this one is, is toho and lakan, and lakan banana. But these, these bananas that we plant on, on the land, so I mostly use my provisions planting from my land. We plant, my husband plants yam, we plant banana, we plant Christophine as vegetable, and we plant, we have French thyme and, and celery and chives and flavor pepper and shadow benny. But I does not put shadow benny in my fish pot. Yes, most of the ingredients is fresh from the from the garden. No chemicals. We 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 do we do um expose dispose our um our provision skins and so like when we cook provision for the business and we we have a um a, a dispose as you said that you put them to, to rot for manual. So we doesn't use no chemicals. All natural. all natural. When we peel our garlic and all of that, we and onions and so, instead of put them in the garbage, we, we, throw them, we put them on the land. Yeah, yeah, we fish, yeah. I love fishing. Fishing relax you. I love the nature. I just don't like snakes. Yeah. Yeah. So is it that most of the fish are used, used by yes. the Yes. Yeah. Well? yeah, yeah, most of the most of the fish. Sometimes not luck. Sometimes we sometimes we we ain't catch anything so we have to go to the fish market because we buy fresh fish every day. We doesn't use fish that is um frozen in the like buy a bulk of fish and leave them in the freezer. No, we try our best to get. But sometimes we get caught with that because sometimes we have a lot of sale. Like everyone will come that day and say that they want fish and we run out of fish. So we get into problems sometimes because when the fish is finished and we go to the fish market, no fish. So we have to wait there for some hours. But sometimes we get you finally. Sometimes my husband had to drive and go to Speyside. Sometimes when the time is busy, go to space side to get, to get fish for the business. So that's why you always lo love to have. You always think about having a boat all the time. Right, but the majority of the time, most of the fish come from here. Yeah, yeah, most of the time, most of the time. Because this fish, that, this fish head that I'm putting in the, in the broad, that is caught by Walter Benjamin. There is it. And sometimes it got by, cut by me too. Because sometimes when I, when I go with him, I give him a lot of irons. <laughs> I'm going and putting it on now, on the fire. Into the pot, just a little drizzle. Not overpower. And this is garlic that I grind, garlic. I like to fry up my stuff a little first. So this is onions. We normally do this all the time. So I put in a little onions in it and just fry it up, give it a little nice little aroma. Then now, I pour it with the water that I clean the, the provision and thing. I pour, pour it in the pot. I put a little chive. We normally call it chive, chive but I, you know, I say chives, green or green onions and celery. And always put lime. I put lime juice, fresh 
squeeze limes. I have to put two flavor pepper. put butter in the fish board because fish have a lot of omega fish oil especially the omega especially in the head that's why the older folks used to use fish head to make a broth when you're feeling unwell you're not feeling you have a cold fish broth is very good for when to build your immune system very fast it gives you a boost so long ago they never used it to they couldn't afford butter, by the way, long ago. But I grew up with my parents, and my dad was a fisherman all his entire life. So my dad always used to say to us, never overcook fish, and never cook a fish broth with no butter. Long ago, they used to say golden ray butter. But we never cook. we never knew our, pa our mom cooking no fish broth with butter. So my father said that is very high in in um, cholesterol is the butter and well you know long ago they never know about the cholesterol thing so afterwards when you you know people educated about the cholesterol so i didn't use no butter at all because when you put the fish in and the fish boil you see when the fish is boiling you see a lot of grease on the top of it and some people will say you put butter in the broth no i don't know about others but i does not use butter in fish broth and this is the male this is the male the male fish they call this fish light it have the roe the fish roe that is the female and the the melt is the so sometime when we have fish and we you know clean the fish and we realize that it have melt we does not throw it away we use it for so this is the blackfin tuna tail and this is the kingfish head the head of the kingfish and this one here is the blackfin tuna head so as i said before the head have a lot of omega a lot of fish oil so when i put it in the pot you know it, it creates its own oil and the oil, the fish oil is very good because we go to the, the pharmacy or buy the herbalist or, or whatever and we buy like fish oil for, to take as vitamins and we have it natural from the food. So food is life and good food too. Yeah, food is life, eh? When you eat good food, you feel healthy in your body, yeah. So we have throw this in the compost there, put this in this bag and the sugar cry it in the bag. So all the waste go to the compost. We call it compost. All of these go, we does not throw these in the garbage, we throw these in the put them in the the dump in the compost. So it, so it rot and make manure. And these are very healthy manure because it have no chemicals in it. Bubbling very nicely there. So I have my little taste teacup. So I put it inside here. Instead of put it put the things in my hand. Mm. So now I'm going and put my lime juice. My little water with my you know the little bubble very nicely there. You don't want a fish to to cook for too long so I'm going and squeeze and giving my fish broth two limes a little one and a big one and I try my best to avoid seeds in my my fish broth because it's not a pleasant thing to bite seeds so I put two limes depends on how much fish broth I made I put two lime leaves, at least two lime in my fish. But I like to do everything in, in, in an order. 
So all the lime skin and all of that go to the. So now I've, I've put in my, I go in and um, put my fish in now. And then I will put, when the fish boil, then afterwards I start to, I put in my, so I put it in my fish. Because I don't want my banana to cook and mash. Well, this is local season that we make. We doesn't buy seasoning at the shop. Okay. This season have shadow benny, onions, garlic, celery, chives, flavor pepper, and sage. So I put my lime, my, my lime juice in it. So as I tell you, no, no butter in my fish board. When you when you see it start to boil with the fish head, then after you see the oil. You need a little more lime when we taste it. So I will tell you, and I put two limes in. 